welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing my next package from Catholic Book of the Month Club, which is published by Sophia Institute Press. And I'm going to try and rip this open without using a tool. Because last month I was able to do it. Oh, there we go. Just a matter of getting past that first part. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. They sent me a catalog. That was neat. And... And you will find rest. What God does in prayer. So it's a book... It's a book of prayers, or a book on prayer, by Father Wayne Sattler. Based on the writings of St. Teresa of Avila and St. John of the Cross. Here, I'll show you the publisher's title page. So, that looks cool. Let's see. I'll read a little bit of the table of contents and then show it to you. Introduction, part one, active purifications of our senses and spirit. To see God as he really is, that's chapter one. Chapter two is, if anyone wishes to come after me. Chapter three is, remain in my love. Part two, passive purification of the senses. The interior castle, the first dwelling place, is chapter four. Chapter five is the interior castle, second dwelling place. Chapter 6 is Interior Castle, 3rd Dwelling Place. And Chapter 7 is Interior Castle, 4th Dwelling Place. Sorry, Max is playing with a, a bag over there. Um, introduction to the Dark Knight. Preliminary Remarks on the Dark Knight. Chapter 8, The Dark Knight, Book 1. Chapter 9, The Interior Castle, the 5th Dwelling Place. Conclusion of Part 2. Appendix A, The Dark Knight. Um, Appendix B, Litany of Humility. And then there's a bibliography in about the author. Um, so here's that. It looks like it's about a 250-page book. Um, I'll read a little bit of the back. Entering the Mystery of Contemplative Prayer. For six years before becoming a well-regarded retreat master, Father Wayne Sattler lived as a diocesan hermit in a one-room cabin on an abandoned farmstead in rural North Dakota, striving to avail himself of the wisdom of 16th century Carmelite saints John of the Cross and Teresa, I don't know if it's pronounced Teresa or Teresa, of Avila. Um, he was asked many times to write a book sharing the fruits of his time in solitude to help others progress in the spiritual life. After returning to the active diocesan priesthood in 2013, he completed his this long-awaited work. Delving deeply into two of the greatest mystical masterpieces ever written, St. John of the Cross's The Dark Knight, and St. Teresa's, or Teresa's, uh, The Interior Castle. Father leads you through the intricate pathways of contemplative prayer, providing clarity and helping you to grow in stillness, navigate distractions, and find rest in the Lord. And then it's published by Sophia Institute Press, and it's made in the USA. Here's the barcode. So that's cool. Um, I 
And some of it's written almost in a, a dialogue format of like, as if people are asking him questions and he's answering them. Maybe these questions came from their treats he led. Um, as well as giving definitions of some things as he goes along. Excuse me. Well, that's cool. I wonder if I have to read The Dark Knight and um, Interior Castle before reading this. I'm going to see something in the back real quick before I end this video. Um, well, there are a lot of um, bibliography. Hmm. All right, I'll have to go through this and see some more. I'd like to thank everybody that has watched my unboxing video of the Ignatius Catholic Study Bible. Um, I am, I feel so honored and grateful for every single person who watched that video. As of today, Saturday, it's over 3,000 views. My most watched video within a 24 hour period. Um, thank you all so much. I hope all of you that view it and subscribe and everything. I am so grateful for every single one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it'd be awesome if we could get even more people to subscribe and to view my videos and to share them and like them and comment on them. It'd be awesome if we could uh, do it in such a way that there's more people commenting so there can be more communication between me and you, the viewers. Um, I'd really enjoy that and be grateful for it. Um, but yeah, this, this book looks interesting. I'll have to go through it some more to see if I do have to read those other two texts to before reading this one. Still, that's really cool. And then... Um, before I end this video, I also want to take a quick look at this. This is a fall winter 2024-2025 catalog. And they even included a, uh, coupon code. Okay, that's cool. Sorry, I just want to see how this thing is laid out. Yeah, that's, that's the book I got last month. A book on the miracles of saints. Um, hmm. Oh, this looks like an interesting book. It's called The Weird Catholic Handbook. This looks like that might be interesting to read got illustrations in it. I'm going to have to go through this um, and see if there's anything in here um, that would be um, worth getting and reading to review. I mean, it looks like some of these titles look really interesting just from the titles. Like All Things Catholic, A Guide from A to Z. I mean, real interesting stuff in here. This is really neat to have. Um, cool. All right, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. And I will see you in the next video. And hopefully in a few days I'll begin uh, putting together 
my review of the Ignatius Catholic Study Bible Old and New Testament edition. I'll also include comparisons with the New Testament only version, which has been out for, if I remember right, when I looked at the copyright dates, something like 14 years. So, um, and, uh, hopefully I'll do an interesting take on a review for that one. Uh, so you'll have to keep an eye out for me putting that out. Um, but yeah, so far what I'm seeing in this catalog is really fascinating. All right. Have a wonderful weekend and, and my fellow Americans have a happy and safe Thanksgiving and hopefully you get to spend a lot of really good time with loved ones. Thank you all once again for all the views on that video. It would be nice if all my videos could have that many views. Um, cause, uh, hopefully that would help get more people subscribed and hopefully more people commenting on every single video so we can have more of a conversation back and forth. Um, cause sometimes I do in all honesty struggle when it's just me talking to you and not, um, hearing back from you watching my videos. Um, but yeah, I'm really grateful for the number of people that are watching that video. It means a lot to me. And, um, I'm just so very grateful. Thank you all very much. Um, I will see you in the next video.